Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Coach Coco and I love volleyball. So much so my channel is full with tips, tricks, hacks, and anything you can ever need to know about volleyball. So what happens if you do not have a good approach and you can't hit the ball? Often when we're hitting the volleyball, sometimes the set isn't exactly what we need it to be or we just don't have enough time to hit the ball. So what do you do? Let's get right into it. volleyball for a very long time. I've been a hitter, a middle blocker, and an outside hitter for most of my career. Throughout that time, I've learned a lot of different strategies to be able to not only get the ball over, but also be a little bit more aggressive with some of my attacks. What we want to do is we want to make sure that if we do have a swing, we swing. It is an opportune time to be able to get that spike and get that kill absolutely necessary. So, but what if you don't have the opportunity to hit it the best way you can or give it the best way you can? We're gonna talk about some strategies that you can do starting with the outside. So we know that the outside hitter is one of the strongest hitters on the team. They have the opportunity to see a perspective of the court that we may not always see. They have not only the chance to be able to get a certain angle, but they also have an opportunity to get a really great line, a really great cross, and just a wide vision of net. So if you don't have the opportunity to hit the ball, let's talk about some things that you can do. For this activity, you're going to need a volleyball. I have several volleyballs here just to work on for some demonstration purposes. So let's say that you don't have the opportunity to swing, but you do have a nice set. There are some options you can do. Option one, you could roll shot. And roll shot is when you use the heel of your hand, the heel of your hand to roll shot the ball over. We have talked about the roll shot in previous videos. If you don't have an idea of what a roll shot is, I'm going to link that down below. But you're going to use the heel of your hand to then give the ball over the net and it drops quickly. What makes a difference between a roll shot and a tip is a roll shot has top spin and it drops very quickly and it really is something that can help confuse the hitters but also drop quick enough especially if you have coverage available. The next thing is a tip. A tip is very helpful, but you only want to tip if you know that there's not going to be coverage or there's an opening. There's another video that we're going to do later on, which is how to be a smart player, and we're going to talk about a little bit more about tipping and tipping strategy. So let's do the roll shot. With that roll shot, we want to be a smart player. So we know that when the outside hitter is hitting, we know and we're going to assume that there's going to be a blocker here. She's here. She's blocking us. We also want to assume that there's going to be coverage. The court is being covered. So what do you do? Am I going to roll shot it to the player waiting for me right here? Absolutely not. I want to use my angles. That means roll shotting cross or roll shotting line. Let's take a look. So when we're roll shotting cross, that means that I want to cut the roll shot as quickly as possible to the net. Now this does take some practice and this is something you're going to have to practice to get good at. We, I want you to start practicing this by on two feet and standing and cutting the ball. Standing and cutting the ball. Let's take a look at what that looks like. I'm standing here. I'm facing the angle that I would approach. And I'm cutting the ball. Standing. We want to practice this as many times so we can make sure we don't touch the top of the net. The lower that you can get it, the better. But this is a great way that you can be aggressive in some of your attacks and not just give the plain old tip. Now, how do you roll shot line? Looking at the same perspective, we want to make sure that we're going down the line. So as you can see, this blue line is indicative, indicative of the line. When roll shotting line, often you want to be a smart player and be strategic about it. So if we know that there's a blocker here, we assume somebody's covering her. By giving it deep, and line deep being that last corner back there we can assume nobody's going to be there so let's give it line i'm here practicing starting on my next two feet i see the hoop is in the way but that's okay nice job and we want to push out as much as we can nice 
The next step is to then add your approach and then roll shot. Let's talk about the tip. Now with the tip, you wanna give a little bit more of an aggressive tip. We don't wanna come up to the ball and approach it like, I'm kinda tipped it, I'm gonna tip it. No, we want to come in and fake it as if we're gonna swing. So even if you don't have the swing, you want to go in like you possibly have the swing. That means coming in, doing a full approach, then come and carrying it over. So when you're doing a tip, am I gonna tip it into the blocker's hands? No. Am I gonna tip it over the blocker? Possibly, but we have to assume somebody's covering. Same thing with roll shot, tipping line or tipping angle. love which is the push but I want to make sure that you remember that when you are pushing the ball you have to be square to the net what does that mean your feet must be in the same direction of your hands as you release the ball once again your feet need to be in the same direction as your hands as you release the ball when we are making these attacks. Last one, but not the least one. Let's talk about the aggressive free ball. When we're giving a free ball, we don't want it to be free. That means that we don't want to give something that looks like it's a rainbow and it's just going super high and gonna to touch the ceiling. No, we want to lean into it to give it a little bit more aggressively. Let see your typical free ball like this. Leaning deeper. It has a little bit more edge on it. It's not as easy to receive, but it is a free ball. With that, I hope that you learned some strategies that you can use just in case you're not able to strike the ball. Even though you're not able to strike the ball, you can still be aggressive, but you have to just apply that volleyball strategy. With everything, I hope you like this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you next time.